Yesterday, I received an email from Brother Mark and he sent me this particular video from a TikToker with a pretty popular account called A Barbie Life. And I have been looking at some of the sister's videos and she is, I would say, a colorism activist, if you will. And, um, you know, she basically talks about um, colorism, makeup, um, you know, kind of like the, the beauty things, you know, weaves, wigs. Um, and then she has also some social commentary that she has. Now, let me just say, um, in my honest opinion, when she's done up, I think she's an um, exceptional looking young lady. Um, you know, some of the wigs she wears and some of the stuff like that is, you know, maybe not to my liking, but I don't think anything is wrong with her. I think that she's a very attractive young lady. I also feel that most black men who would see her um, would not be like, oh, she's ugly or she's unattractive. That's me personally, right? But um, but I want you to, 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 to kind of figure that you know, a lot of dark skinned women are having problems on social media. Um, you know, sometimes it could be, you know, uh, the weight issue or them having kids, but I would not suspect she would have an issue. But now she, who is typically a pro black lady is saying that she's tired of being overlooked by black men. And so now she's going to go and get a white man. Let's kind of listen to this clip. Y'all gonna cancel me, but, um, Today marks the day that I will be dating outside of my race. And I know what you're about to say, aren't you pro-black? Like, ah! I am. But as a dark-skinned black woman, the most hate I get is from my own men. And me restricting myself to only dating black men is giving me little to no options. Because there's only like a small group of black men who actually like women like me. And trust me, I've been trying to educate black men about colorism, futurism, texturism my whole damn life. I do it on my platform every day. But a lot of them choose to stay dense and ignorant. And I'm sorry, but you're not about to ask me to wait for these men to stop being colorist. I cannot wait any longer for these men to stop the self-hatred. I want to go where I'm wanted. I'm tired of sitting in places where I'm not wanted and try to convince the people that I should be desired. I'm sorry, but I'm done with that. So from this day forward, Shakira, Shakira will be looking outside of her race when it comes to dating. Not saying I'm not going to date black men. I definitely will. But to expand my options, yes, I will be dating outside of my race. Unapologetically. Thank you very much. So guys, you heard what she had to say. Now, let me just say this. All right. She is um, saying that, you know, she's going where she's appreciated. This sounds very similar to kind of like what some black men say when they're going to go over and deal with, you know, other races of women and things like that. Um, but now... I think the case is a little bit different from her. Okay. Why? Number one, she, she's an attractive young lady. What this means is that the men that she is interested in is not interested in her, but there are men out there available to her that she is not interested in. Okay. That's pretty much what it has to be. But then I found another video of this young lady that she played called I'm not meant to work period. And I wanted to kind of get into maybe how she thought about the world and well, let's play this clip to kind of get a better understanding. Honestly, thinking about the fact that I have to go to work tomorrow is making me want to cry. Like I literally feel like I'm not meant to work a job, but I'm not meant to be an entrepreneur either. Like, I'm just meant to be a human and live on this earth. Like, my soul is just supposed to be enjoying its physical body and living life in this physical world. Like, I want to travel. I want to go out to eat. I want to just freely do stuff with no schedule or people dictating me or telling me what to do. Like, I literally just want to live. And it's like, I feel like work consumes majority of our week because like we literally are working nine to five monday through friday so we have like three hours at night for, of me time before we get up and go to work again the next day and then the weekends are only two days like i just feel like i i don't know i'm calling for 
a man who's ready to give me the soft life, really. I know I shouldn't be looking for a man to be my savior, but seriously, if there's any men out there who want to give me the soft life and take care of me so I can live, please do so, because I don't like it out here in these streets, okay? Being independent is not the move, okay? It isn't. So, you heard that. She doesn't want to work. She wants to travel. She wants to eat. She wants to exist. Um, and I guess there are days that I feel like that and you feel like that, right? But what are we talking about here? We're talking about a person who doesn't want to come pee. Okay? Doesn't want to come pee. This is what we're really dealing with here. And I want to talk about this because a lot of ladies have this same issue. Again, women want men to add value to their lives. And then when you can't get the kind of man that you want, you complain that you're going to go somewhere else only to find out. Um, yeah, if you want the best white guys in the world, which are doing better than black men, typically, you're going to also have to compete. That's why you are having the issue. You want a man to build himself up, have the things that you want, but now what value are you adding to his life? And the thing about it is, is like, you know, the, the thing that these women want today in today's world, they're not willing to work for it. God forbid women are, some of them have problems even, you know, working for their own careers. Again, like women will work for sure, right? A lot of them do. We hear all the time, black women are doing this, black women are that. And I, I, I applaud them on their effort. But now when we get to the point here, and I want to talk about this, when we get to the point that women are discussing the fact that men are not approaching them, the men are not trying to talk to them, then what you're going to find out is, oh, there's piss in the pool. You've been hearing that on Kendra G shows a lot lady, lately. When a woman can't, you know, she'll, she'll come out and say, oh, I don't have a problem getting a man. But then when the men that don't want to date you seriously, you'll say the piss is in the pool. And that's a personal problem. You see, Obsidian had a... Uh, a saying if a black woman can't get uh if a black man can't get a black woman it's his problem right if a black woman can't get a, a a good man it's his problem too no it's not you are not being competitive enough as a young woman and we can see where that attitude lies in it lies in a little bit of laziness you don't really take pride in your work you don't like working you want to exist and it's the same thing you expect that some man's going to stop you and be like oh you're a great person you're a wonderful person. You're a wonderful man. You're a, you're a wonderful woman. And then when that doesn't happen, you blame it on colorism. Listen, ladies, no man is going to be so, feel sorry for you because you're light skinned or because you're dark skinned. If you want a man, you're going to have to be intentional about it. You think you're going to just get dressed up and walk down the street and then some guy that's worth six figures is going to stop what he's doing to come talk to you. And then all of a sudden you're going to be great. It doesn't work like that. Top men have so many options. Shout out to my boy, Moo Moo Mayfield. Um, I was talking to him and, you know, he's been all over the country, right? All over the world, Brazil, everywhere. More countries than me. We grew up together. All right. And then when you're talking about, you know, people that have access, people that have been to different places, the world is big. How do you how do you expect that, you know, you can compete with that? You, I can tell you how you can compete with that because you can't. If you're in the United States right now and you're looking for black men at the upper echelon level, which she's not dating no guy that's making $40,000 a year, right? She wants a guy doing very well. Got it. Do you know what competition you're dealing with? All right. You know, you're dealing with guys who are dealing with white women, Asian women, Hispanic women, other black women, women throughout the diaspora. It's competitive in, in these days. So if you can't get what you want, you turn around and say, well, it's colorism's fault. I don't think that's the case because you're not, you know, you're, 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 you're a very attractive young lady. The issue comes with a lack of being intentional. Stop blaming people because you're not intentional about what you want to do. and You're not trying to get it. Just like somebody wanting to go to like pharmacy or medical school and you're saying, well, they won't, they won't let me in. And you don't have good grades. You don't do any volunteer experience. You don't do any research. You're not doing what's required to be there. So, of course, you won't be there. It just only makes sense. 
But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with the episode of Celebrity Junk. I'm out. Peace. Peace.